Hello, Quest here, the Legend of Zelda randomizer. Uh, in the last part, we beat two dungeons, Swamp Palace and Skull Woods, the Pendant Dungeons, so we got our bow. Uh, so I'm gonna come here. I, I could at least get the Dark World portal. I was thinking I was gonna do Eastern Palace and then Palace of Darkness. And I was like, yeah, except that's really the wrong order, but I want an easier dungeon. Except, um, the reason that you normally think that you want to do Palace of Darkness first is just that you can mirror to Eastern. But in this case, I can still go to Palace of Darkness and then just mirror. I guess it's somewhat more dangerous. Uh, especially if I forget which way to go. Going unnecessary directions could be hazardous to your health due to the extra enemies. Ah, here's the big arrow that's obvious and tells you where to go. Remembering our way through the maze this time. Or, no, we're not. I went too high this time. I think I went too low last time I was in that maze. And so I overcompensated my mistake. Of course, everyone's used to doing this part without getting hit at all. Because you have the monkey following you normally, and you can't get hit with the monkey. Alright, let us take advantage of our bow and silver arrows. I've already checked all the chests in the dungeon. I don't remember what was in here, but hopefully it was something good. Oh yeah, I don't have the um, Pegasus boots yet. I tried to do the um, ledge jump quickly. The, the quick ledge jump. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to correct that with the same words in another order, basically. It's like, Cusco's poison. The poison. Cusco. Uh, hello? That was weird. Something about being at the top of the room messed up the spawns, I guess? Have I gotten whatever was in the big chest? Do I have the big key? I do have the big key. Oh, I bet once again I forgot... Oh, there's a t clock in there! This is gonna be so easy. Yeah, once again I had forgotten that, um... With one dungeon item left, the boss could have it. Oh, you're the one with arrows. I feel like I'm wasting clock doing an easy dungeon, except I just got hit, so how is it a waste now? I would've probably been more careful if I, uh, did not have clock. Nope, oh, that's not... <laughs> probably wouldn't do that if I didn't have timer. Oh yeah, you have to actually change to the silver arrows by hitting the Y button. <laughs> that would have been so disappointing a death if I did not just find a clock. Thinking he was going to be dead, but he wasn't. Oh, missing. Oh man. Okay, I held up my sword so that he would certainly fall on it the first time, because I wasn't sure about the angle and hitting him with a, um... An arrow. <laughs> yeah, the thing that you hit people with. Alright, so if I remember correctly, I ran out of keys in Palace of Darkness and couldn't get into the Dark Maze. But I felt like I needed the bow to check where the next keys were 
because there's a mimic room or something. I hope I'm right that the mimic room is between me and the chest that I want. <laughs> no boots, so I gotta bomb it. Yeah, I have most of the major items. I'm missing, like, bombos? Bug catching net. Cane of Burna. Um. Well, the. The level 3 gloves. The Pegasus boots. And. Whatever is directly to the left of the mirror. <laughs> Do you lose time while the game's paused? 13, 12. Oh yeah, you do! It just takes a moment to, uh, skip. I didn't realize that. I think I've spent some time thinking... Think... Well, the game was paused, not realizing my timer was counting. Sword being him... Wait... I'm playing like I don't have any time. I've still got 38 seconds. Yeah, this chest... Key. And I did need the bow to get there, because there was a red mimic. Alright, let's make our way into the dark maze. Do I need the switch in the other- oh, I do need the switch. Could use the bomb as well, but I like the cane. And I kinda want the cane out for this room. Or wait, no, I have sword beams active. I don't need it. Because the uh, cane blasts go through these things' masks. That's all I was thinking. Oh! Don't get fire breathed on me. Isn't there like one more in the room somewhere? Oh, we got the compass. Still could get the map. Alright, got him. Isn't there a... Oh yeah, I think the chest is in the lower... Yeah, lower right. Piece of heart. More like piece of junk, because this is one-hit KO mode. Money! Um, I don't think I actually want a mirror at this point. Or do I? Where do I? I think I do. Thinking where I can actually exit that area from... One of these is arrows, right? No. Wrong. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we made it. Oh. Didn't realize you actually had to step back after throwing the last pot. Oh, arrows. I want to stay stocked up on those, because they're good. We're just gonna show a little caution. I am uh, definitely very concerned about the boss. Um, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay.
I'm also a little concerned about some of the rooms before the boss. Could easily, like, flip a turtle up on ourselves and die. Well, not if I, um, slash them. If you're killing them with the hammer, it's a little more dangerous. Alright, which block do you, like, push in here? I'm pretty sure it's one of the corners. Okay, it's that one. Not sure why they felt the need to include that little puzzle. Almost a bit of a non-puzzle. Wow. Sword beams are really weak. See, if I hold my sword out, it both prevents me from being turned around, and, um... extends my hammer hitbox to the length of the sword. It's a little easier to hit him. Didn't want to get knocked back Well, um, he might attack with the tail. And got him! <laughs> Silver arrows are pretty good. What do you got for me? The map! Um... I've apparently forgotten something I actually can do then. Right? Let's see... I've done all Light World dungeons. Oh, I can go into Ice Palace. There's nothing stopping me from that. <laughs> Everyone's favorite dungeon, Ice Palace. I mean, it's a crystal dungeon. No real purpose in putting it off. I guess it would be nice to not have to check things. And what, the level 3 gloves have to be there? Oh, I can't check Dark World Dungeons now. Is that the only item I need for go mode? Uh, I've forgotten where I am going. I need to go to the right a bit. Um, wait. Oh, I have crystals 5 and 6. Maybe I should be doing the orange bomb. Oh! I can't even do this! <laughs> Forgot uh, what color that was. Man, this, this seed is hilarious. I wonder if there's a way to play somebody's one-hit KO seed, but in normal mode. Or rather, timed one-hit KO. But I feel like the majority of this run at this point has been in one-hit KO mode. Alright, let's not die with the bomb. Because that would cost 100 rupees. We might run out of attempts eventually. Oh, I thought this died in one hit from the level 3 sword. Maybe I should have just mirrored earlier. Except I don't know where the guards are, and the guards are kind of intimidating. Because there are some fast guards after you defeat. Aganam. Aganahim. Saharashla. Whatever his name is. <laughs> I don't think the giant bomb hurts you. I run away from it every time anyway. Alright, two chests in here. The level 4 sword! The level 3 gloves! I was pretty sure the level 3 gloves absolutely had to be there. Well, not pretty sure. Like, moderately sure. 
All right, so that opens up a whole new world to us. Or rather, more parts of the same world. I should really just use the flute. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to check the chests around Meyer. I believe that is the lowest risk thing we can do. It also enables us to, um... Check what we need to get into Meyer. There are birds that could horribly murder us. But, uh, we're gonna hope to not get horribly murdered. Alright, this is... Oh, hey, we can open it up. Might as well spend the mana now. But I want the two chests in the cave to the left, and then I wanted to use the uh, magic mirror in the top right of the area. So where is the bird that normally people freeze by casting ether there? When they're playing the normal game. Dun, 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 dun. Do I want to save in case these are clocks that I want to save for later? Well, they weren't. We got the Cane of Burna, which is actually still pretty good. We can check Spike Cave. Or, I might need a... wait. I might need half magic for that, too. Because I can't even take one hit right now. So I couldn't even, like, switch off of the cane, drink a green potion, and go back onto the cane. You're not supposed to warp there, by the way. I think if you go all the way in, it works. A green rupee. Nice. Hmm. Actually, did I want to go back through, or do I want to check Dark Death Mountain? I think I want to check Dark Death Mountain. Oh boy, we're gonna have to deal with the sky cabbages again. Oh, we're dead. That's fine, this is actually gonna warp me forward slightly. A strategy, death warps. And there wasn't a clock in the, um, Meyer area, so... <laughs> Checking the, uh, stuff didn't lose us anything. Oh, I could also rescue the blacksmith and then do the, um, purple chest. We're like not likely to check any dungeons the rest of this episode, I feel like, at this point. Whoa, how did I not get horribly murdered there? Uh, down. That's where the warp is. I think I use the hookshot in a panic too much when I have it out. Alright, but there's actually less threatening on Dark Death Mountain. Unfortunately, I don't remember where any of the caves I'm interested in are. See, I mean, there's Hookshot Cave. Have I even checked what's on the island? Wait. Isn't there somewhere you can go from here? Oh, here they are. Okay, just these two caves exist in the Dark Half. Oh yeah, there are two chests over here, too. I could have used Block Erasure with the mirror to avoid having to come up here and fall again. You can also actually hookshot through. Whatever, it's not important. I want to go here, right? Right. I think in one randomizer, I totally failed that puzzle. Oh wow, there's money. Like, I only got to one chest. So I had to, like, go all around again. Except the staircase doesn't even let you go back in those holes, so it was a total mess. Alright. 
Alright, now here we have Hookshot Cave. So named because you use the hookshot in it to go around places. Oops. Piece of heart. Full heart. Arrow expansion. Clock. I can... I can fall in and warp like that, then. And I'm just gonna do the thing for no reason. Oh, actually, I should hurry on over to Spike Cave. I should still have time to do this, though. Expansion. We can now carry 70 arrows. Have I died this episode yet? Oh yeah, by on Death Mountain, of course I did. Oh, this is actually getting bad. Because I have to waste the little magic. Oh wait, I didn't have to. I have time. Uh, let's see, I have checked Ether Tablet, right? Yeah, it was the hammer. Where is Spike Cave? It's like here. Yeah. I feel like getting hit while you're lifting the thing interrupts you. Piece of heart. So, um... words. Um, which I kind of wanted to be on Death Mountain still, didn't I? Oh, well, I have timer. Um, I was definitely saying something. Oh yeah, just... I wanted to make sure I was invincible while I was lifting the thing so that my lift didn't get interrupted. So I was saving magic until the end rather than using it all right away. But I didn't trust myself to use it in time with one heart left, so uh, I used it when I had two hearts left. I don't really need eight bombs right now. Yeah, the current thing is I'm checking what medallion I need for Turtle Rock, and if I have the medallion, I'm going to go into Turtle Rock. This is probably not the best use of having actual timer, but it's what I'm doing. And I get hit plenty on the way, apparently. I still can't bonk off of rocks. I would've kinda liked to have sword beams. Is there any hint in the game that tells you those, or are you just supposed to figure it out from whether it makes the you did it tone? I don't have enough magic. That's the silliest reason to not open that. Is there, like, magic here, or...? What if I pull this? It's a pull location. Oh, the money. Right. <laughs> I don't think these can have stuff under them. Alright, well, it's checked. Confirmed we don't need Bombos to beat the game. Um, these don't drop anything at all. I don't have a relevant potion. Yeah, I... kinda wanna reset to get my timer back. 
but I'm just going to Kakariko anyway. I'm gonna do blacksmith stuff. Since I have lift 3, that is the theme of this episode. Grabbing the easiest stuff you can grab when you have lift 3. After having, what, done two dungeons and... Um... Done the giant bomb? We're actually making pretty good time, considering how long we've spent in one-hit KO mode. I mean, this is about three hours in right now. Maybe slightly more. We've got four dungeons left. Yeah, counting Ganon's tower. And we had to... It was a pedestal seed. Hey, come with me. If you want to live. Or at least not be a frog. Man, I wonder if I should, like, dump out my... Um... A red potion and get, like, a blue or a green. Two greens, rather. Because I can already get one green. It's the bomb expansion. I think most runners wouldn't even take that. Especially not when you already have 20 bombs. See, I've already done the magic powder. I forget what I got. I think it wasn't any good, though. Oh, I placed my portal in the way, didn't I? Thanks, thanks. Oh yeah, you have to go out and then back in. Oh, actually, having the portal in the way made perfect sense, because I want to go back to the Dark World, because after you rescue the dwarf, the purple chest appears. Mysteriously. Purple chest. See, I've already talked to Stumpy and done all the other stuff on the way, so I'll just flute over. Because you can fly with the chest, of course. Speedrun community refers to it as the lunchbox, or at least the randomizer community does. Gotta bring Gary's lunchbox to Gary the Thief. Eh, not bad. Free green potion? Complete with bottle? Because, <laughs> especially now that we have the can of Verna. Those green potions could mean life or death. <laughs> In ways that other tools don't. Oh, I'm also still missing the shovel. I was listing missing items recently, and I don't have the shovel. But that's not the one that's next to the mirror, because the shovel takes the slot of the flute. It's a wide switch thing like the bow in Randomizer. Why can't I remember what items between these? That's the real question. Or is there an item between them? Maybe that's the joke. I'm trying to think of all the dungeon items in the game now. more mysterious is why I'm bothering to go anywhere at the moment. Um, so what do I do next time? My choices are Turtle Rock, um, Ice Palace, and Misery Mire. I think I'm gonna prefer Misery Mire? Yeah. I don't actually know how many chests each dungeon has. I guess, actually, Turtle Rock tends to be a bit of a treasure trove, because of that laser room at the end. So maybe that's worth it? Although, I'd have to climb Death Mountain again. 
and this time without any invincibility. Er, not invincibility. Able to take damage. Same thing, really, right? Eh, I could just get potions at the Witch's Hut and then Kane and Burna up past anything difficult. Anyway, that's it for this part. The next part, doing some long and difficult dungeon. See ya!